scroll up a bit. Okay, hold on. Let me go up. Uh huh. Wait, Over wait, here. Wait, wait, wait. Down, 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 down. Where? Wait, wait, stop right there. You know, uh -huh. you see the date up there, and the, the, the yeah, yeah, R -F yeah, yeah. I'm seeing it here. Mm -hmm. Should I just type it on there or not? This has to go. This date has to go in between these two lines. So this line is first. This line is second. This line is third. Okay. Understood? In that order. So one, two, three. And then you continue with the question. Another key, another key thing, as you say that, another key thing. When we are typing in Microsoft Word, and this is something mm -hmm. that I spoke about previously as well, right? Yeah. Some of us, when we are given a manuscript writing question, and I've seen it, where, okay, this, this here is your first line, right? We hereby take this opportunity to. Just because the examiner ends here with the word to, it does not mean that you have to hit enter and go down to type the word invite. Do we understand that? You continue mm -hmm. typing. Perfect. You continue typing. When your words cannot fit in word, it automatically goes down to the next line. Not so? Yeah. So even if this entire thing, like here, it, 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 it might be looking like five lines or six lines. And when you type it, it might be two lines. It is still correct. But do not type invite. Um, we hereby take this opportunity to, and at the end here, press enter. No, that is where you're going to lose marks. You have to type these things as complete lines. The only time you press enter is where the examiner tell you a new paragraph. That's the only time you're going to hit enter. In between uh, new paragraph, that's it. Mm -hmm. Right? So keep that in mind as well when you all are typing. Just busy, oh, you, you know what I want to ask you guys as well? I wanted to have an idea. I have you all here. I wanted to have an idea by a show of hands. How many people on this group has laptops to practice on? or have a desktop or something that you all can practice these questions on. Just a show of hands, how many of us, keep your hands up. So I can see, have an idea how many of you have computers at home that you all can use to practice. One, Just raise your hands so I know place. how many of you, keep your hands raised. Mama, do I know you have a laptop? Huh? Thank you. JL, I think you also have a laptop as well. Kaleem, you have a laptop as well. Right, so the majority of us I'm seeing here, you guys have laptops to use. Um, please um, practice. Um, those of you who don't have one at home, I don't know if you have access to one. Maybe you can actually borrow one from maybe a family member or a friend. And maybe you can try to do some of these um, questions so that I can give you feedback on it. Some of you who may have laptops, I'm seeing one person telling me here that they have um, a laptop, but it seems to not be working. Sometimes what happens is that your software, um, it may not have been legitimate software. So from time to time, the license is going to expire. However, what I want you guys to try, there is an online version called Office 365. For those of us, let me see if I can put it here on the chat for you all. For those of you who having issues with your Microsoft Office online, there's, an, there's a version called Office 365 where you all can go in and you all can use for free. As students, you all can go in and use Word and Excel for free and you can save and uh, save and everything. So you all can try it. For those of you who laptop probably don't have proper, um, proper lights and software, you all can try out Office 365. Um, those of you who don't have a laptop, maybe you have a tablet, maybe you have a cell phone, maybe you can try to download Word and Excel and whatnot there and you can try to do the, do the practice because every week I'm going to go through the questions and I'm going to show you the answers. So even if you aren't able to email it to me, at least if you, pr if you try it and I'm going through the corrections, you would know if you went right or wrong somewhere. So you could even try doing that as well.
Okay, guys, so you all can try that out. It's Office 365 for those of us who might be having issues where we have access to, um, to machines or we don't have proper software, we can go online. We can use for free Office 365. There's a student version you all can use for free online. Okay, um, Suri, um, I'm addressing you here. Um, I know you have um, your um, Chromebook. Were you able to get a workaround for that to practice these questions? Not too sure. Not too sure. Um, I know you told me that your dad has a laptop. Maybe he could lend you it in between perhaps and you can try to do these questions. Okay, no problem. Yeah, like even when I, I I know he's probably using it during the day for work, so maybe in the evening or at night if you can ask him for a chance. And if each night you all do a question, if you all do if each night you all look at these questions and you all do a question each night, you all um will be able to complete the paper. Okay. So yeah. like so this office three hundred sixty five is on the internet? Yes. All right, okay. So I just have to type it up and I'll get Well remember in your laptop, remember you need a password. Remember, you told me you didn't know what the password was. No, but instead of using the Chromebook, I can use, I can use the Lenovo. Yeah, you can. You can. But, yeah. doesn't have, but if your dad has the Microsoft programs, you can just go ahead and use it from there. Only if he doesn't. This, this option is only if you don't. Yeah, he does have it. Well, right. Well, then, well, then you don't have to do the Office 365. This is only for people who probably have an issues with their um, software, maybe if it's not licensed. Right? All right. Okay, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Is there anybody else has any questions on the group? Right, so I look forward to um, you all doing these questions. Michael, do you have a, um, a machine at home that you can practice on? Perfect, good. Okay, guys, well, if you all have no existing questions, if you don't have any more existing questions on this password that we went through today. Um, excuse me. Yeah. You know that this one is called the in-depth, is, is it like a, wait, I get it, it's I-N-D-E-B-T. Where you seeing that, where you seeing that part? In the, the you know, in the question two, something like that. Question 2A continue, no, on the page 3. Did you see the way? Stop here, stop. Uh -huh. Yeah, did you see in D, E, P, or B, T of there? Yeah, that. With, that your, one right. with your vast and in-depth knowledge. Is it E, well, you mean I and D, E, B, T, right? Check it and spell it and grammar check for me. With your vast and in-depth knowledge. Remember, you all have spelling and grammar check. You all can feel free to use the tools on your own software. Got it. Great. Uh, and just so you know, I miss... Uh, mm -hmm. I just, you know, miss one class, you know, last week. So. Right. You didn't miss anything major. You would have just missed the 2019 paper and you have the opportunity to always do it and email it to me. It's, it's not an issue, right? You and me had to do all the P, you know, from start to finish. That's right. The entire people. Okay. And then I'll send it to you by email. That's right. Okay. So sh now I have to do the, the question of you know, you question have, two. Guys, the questions that is due. Mm -hmm. For next day, yeah. 
you yeah. are doing the, those of you who didn't do the 2019 paper you have two papers due 2019 and 2018 for those of us who did the 19 we just have the 2018 that is due all questions in the past papers just 2019 and 2018 that's right yeah it's just these two before next week right have it due by the next day of class so that we can share it or maybe i should just send it right now or maybe tomorrow whenever you're ready shaquille that will be fine got it yeah got it <laughs> I'll just have to do 2018 first and then 2019 second, just so you know that I had it all sorted. No problem. As long as you label it properly, that's fine. Um, you all can just put it in a folder and you mm -hmm. can you can um, email it to me so I know exactly which questions is coming from which people. You can just put it in a folder and you can zip it. Got it. Mm -hmm. I got it. Michael, do you have a question for me? Go ahead and ask your question, please. It's two past papers that we have due, if that is what the question that you are thinking of. Yes, Michael, the code remains the same. Each teacher uses the same code over and over. The code does not change, it's, it, is, it, it remains. That's the whole thing. I, I got it. Yeah, the entire paper, right? You're not leaving out any questions. You're doing all the questions on both papers. 2019 to 2018. Just these two of them, right? Yes. Okay, guys, so I just posted the homework there on the group for you all. Like I said, I know some of us already sent me the 2019. If you did it, you don't have to do it over. You will just do the 2018. Does anybody have any additional questions for me? Good, so I'm seeing here that everybody's telling me that they know exactly what they have to do. So you all will try that paper for me, right? This will bring us to the end of today's class. And I will hear from you guys on Wednesday, those of you who have class with me on Wednesday, right? Wednesday at 1 p.m. All right, guys, so that's it. I am going to end the meeting now if nobody has any other questions to ask, right? Right, you all can start exiting from on the group once you're okay, so I know that you guys are okay.
right, I'm still seeing some of you on the group still. Are you all okay?